think y'all fully understand who I am, you know? I'm just a good kid from Compton that wanna rap. I don't represent no colors, I represent my little sisters and brothers. I'm the oldest nigga. And if you can't respect that, your whole perspective is whack. Check it out. I used to wanna rap like Jay-Z until I finally realized that Jay wasn't me. I took my time. <laughs> It's an art form. It's a place of expression for me. It's a place where I can express myself and feel totally free to say whatever the fuck I want to say, whatever the fuck I want to say, and not have to worry about you know any repercussions. And it's a, it's a, it's it's therapy for me. It's it's a slight podium, some would say. Uh, it's the longest thing I ever committed to. Ever, I've never committed to anything longer than I have comedy in that. That astounds me. Growing up, my mom, my mom always, uh, she would always tell, she would always tell me whenever I was mad. She's like, "You can say whatever you, you can think whatever you want to think, just don't say it. You can think whatever you want to think, just don't say it." So really, now, like comedy is just, it's just me saying. I'm just saying everything my mom told me I couldn't say. She used to tell everybody, she used to tell our friends and everybody, she used to be like, but I, I, cause if, that, if people are laughing, I cannot help but put on a show. I can't, I'm not gonna stop until, until I see that people are drained of energy. So my mom used to, I, my, 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 my mom's friends would come over, I'd be cracking them up. My mom would be like, stop. my mom would beg her friends and, and my family to stop laughing so, because I would keep going until, until they stop. She's like, Please, just stop laughing at him. Just stop. You, you, y'all just encouraging him. So really, this is all, like, this has been me. It's just, it's just me breaking. It's just DeMar Randy Unchained. This is DeMar Unchained. The thing that influences my comedy the most is probably uh, life, you know? Well, I'm starting now and then, but life is probably what, what influences my comedy the most. A comedy influences my comedy in that it gave me, uh, it gave me a different perspective and it gave me a story also gave me uh, tons and tons of characters, you know. Richard Pryor's Mud Bone is a very famous uh, character that he, you know, sat in for 20 minutes. And uh, I have a new character, you know, that's easily as lovable. His name's Uncle Ronnie. And uh, he came right from here too, you know. And uh, you, can, you can start to, uh, you can start to uh, feel, you can start to feel 
that there's comedy everywhere. There's, like, there's irony and there's juxtaposition all over the place. Compton in general is a place to learn. You can, you can learn what, what drugs what drugs will do to you, what bad choices will do to you, what people who or you know who abuse power could do to you, what what people who who love you could do to you. It's, you all you do is just learn. You just picking up knowledge. You learn you learn you learn a lot about love and hate. You learn about life. You learn about hardships. And you and you learn to you learn to be thankful. He talks about himself a lot. <laughs> yeah, he talks about himself a lot. He's a, he talks he talk to dude that just go on and on about him. I mean, I get it. I, I understand why DeMar Randy talks about himself a lot. It's because DeMar, De, DeMar Randy is learning about himself as he talks about himself. But I can see how I'm being like. I feel like Nicki Minaj. <laughs> Roman is um, a character where I, uh, I assault other female rappers from time to time. Uh, what did I say? Uh, I'm very humble, but you know, when I get on stage, this one Sasha Fierce comes out. I don't know who Sasha Fierce is, but she's very wild. I'm not like that at all. I think, I think one of the, the most remarkable things about, about myself is that through all the things that I've been through. I mean, people people say that me surviving a gunshot was amazing. Me coming from a parent, me coming from parents with no education, gangster, and, and all those things. They think that that's that's the most amazing thing about me. The most amazing thing about me was that I went through all that, and I was able to keep my inner child, because that's the key to life. Is keep keep your inner child. That's what a real fight is, is. Not to let nobody kill your inner child. Cause people people will take it uh will take it upon themselves to try and kill your inner child because their inner child is dead and they're no longer enjoying life the way they want to or, or think that they want you to they want you to they want you to be as miserable as they are in life and that's. That's the most remarkable thing about me is that through all that stuff that people say is amazing that I survived. The most important battle has been preserving my inner child. That's what should be amazing is that I can still be this goofy and this funny and, and laugh this loud and act this childish after all the shit I've been through. The process of finding comedy is a purge, you know? It's like it's like it's like swallowing a key and then throwing up, throwing it up, like having making yourself throw up to find it. So then you gotta you gotta you gotta like pick it out of all the pineapple chunks <laughs> and ground beef to get it. But you got it, you know? And a lot of people don't wanna throw up, you know. They don't wanna they don't wanna gag, <laughs> they don't wanna stick their finger in their mouth, they don't wanna have to deal with the with the eating decisions that they made, so they rather not, so they lose the key. But then they try to pick it out when it's, it's shit, and I much rather eat, I much rather pick through pineapple chunks than fresh shit. So, do the hard work, which is here now. So I have to pay for it later. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, the, the, the purges, the the, 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 the the purge the purge to open up Pandora's box because all the shit that you try to deny and you forget about and you try to put away you gotta open that box here. I get scared to ride with Dumarani sometimes, you know? Because Dumarani's so confident, I, Dumar Mitchell, have to try and keep up with his confidence. I'm like, all right, all right, DeMar Randy wants to do that, but DeMar Mitchell is like, hold on, nigga, damn! We just got comfortable as you know, being a comedian. We even know we're gonna do this shit. And DeMar Randy, like, nigga, let's go! We got shit to do, nigga. We got, we got worlds to take over. We got worlds to conquer. I didn't know what it was gonna be. I didn't know it was gonna be comedy. I didn't know it was gonna be fashion. I didn't know if it was gonna be music. But I tried all of it. I was like, some. 
they gonna love me for something. I, they gotta love me. They gonna love me. Come up. Yeah. <laughs> Ragnarok time.